Okay, we're here now in question six, so this is of 2017, paper two, leave us audio level maths. Now this question here is a 10D, so 10 more 10 marks, it's got a good range of marks you can pick up. Let's read through and so part A, find the distance X, so there's X, on your triangle, um, in the very below us, not the scale. Give your answer correct at two decimal places. Okay, so 63, 65, you know, straight away you can get this angle here. Adding 65 and 63 would be 128. Take that from 180. Shoot the calculator. Uh, 180 take away 128 is 52. Okay, now hopefully I'm right. I haven't messed it up in the head. We now look at uh, finding x. So if you think about it here, it's a non angle triangle. So Pythagoras won't work. You do with the sine cos tan rules. So we're left with the sine rule itself or the cosine rule. Now the cosine rule we normally, um, we, let me cut music here, uh, we need to know the two sides uh, between, um, two sides either side of an angle to be able to find the side opposite of the angle. So if we knew this bottom number here and 10 in this angle, we could find x then. And the cosine rule would work, but in this scenario we don't have the bottom bit down here. So cosine rule won't work. Now, to be honest, normally I would try the sine rule first. And it's in your math tables, but A over sine A okay, um, equals B over sine B. Now, you're not giving much space here. Okay, I'm really just write this down for problem solving purposes. Okay, I have my formula written down. If I label it, I could call that angle A. Okay, so I'm inside A. And then I could pick this as being angle B and side B. We'll go right. Do I have little a? No, that's what I'm looking for. That's my question mark. Do I have the big the big angle? Yes. Do I have a side? Yes. And it's corresponding angle? Yes. So do I know three of the four unknowns? I do. So sine rule will work. Now I've done it here. It's written out. I've put in my x for a, sine 52 for um, the angle, and then 10 over sine 63. Now I wouldn't apply any any use the calculator yet i just move things as chunks okay and it'll get everything equal on one side the sine 52 is one chunk as such when it moves it was being divided it comes across the equal it's going to move up and be multiplied and that's what's represented down here now i put it to the calculator okay and type it all in one go uh, if you round here you round early and we'll do it with a current penalty now unless you keep the full like nine you know ten decimal places that's just more work so I put it in the calculator, I get 8.84, now that's a length, so it's centimeters. And that's it. Okay, so I'm going to part B here. Now, in this particular triangle, uh, it's a different one, okay, it's still non, non right angle, so Pythagoras won't work, sine cos tan won't work. So it's going to be either sine rule or cosine rule. Now, I've given you a hint here, I've written down the cosine rule for you. If you think about it, if I know an angle, the two sides, either side, then I can find the side corresponding to the angle. So I can, I can find why using the cosine rule. And we'll put it through here in the work. Okay, so I've written out all my unknowns and you know un, un, unknown unknown data. Put it into the formula. Now at this stage I can put it through the calculator. Okay. And I end up with now never forgetting that the a squared, okay, equals whatever. So bring the square across from the square rooted and the square root of 73.87 whatever is 8.59 and um, we'll make that to one decimal place so i look at the, the number just after it and if that's five or greater the next number rounds up by one so i get 8.80 sorry six zero. okay so that's that uh, part here's the end of question six okay only two parts 15 and 10 50. okay fair enough okay seems easier than tolby so I'll stop it there, it's only four minutes long, and see you on question seven.